Hello, it's January 17th, 2021. I'm Laura. I'm Brenda. And welcome to Brenda and the Serial Starter. Another episode. Yes. So sit back, relax, and hopefully enjoy. Yes. <laughs> hopefully we inspire <laughs> you and we'll be up to our usual shenanigans. That Been is a true. Crazy couple weeks, but stitching yeah. always soothes the soul. Yeah. So. You know what I like about our two-week intervals for me personally is yeah. that like on my drive home, it's like, okay, now I can like replan everything. It's like a, a new year all over every two weeks, yes. at least for me. Yes. I don't think I could do it every two weeks or every week. No. I think the two weeks is a mm -hmm. good time frame. Mm -hmm. I don't have. Well, unless we live next door. Right. Then we could. Right. And we, we didn't work. Oh, well, that's, yeah, that's major. Yes. All right. Now, let's see. What have you been working on? Well, I'm going to answer. So we're going to oh, answer for, some questions. She has an order, and we're going to go in. No, order. then we can go no, and do whatever. Just, I just want to get these questions out of the way. Okay. We have had a lot of questions of where do we get our book of days, which is that. <laughs> it is by Needlework Press. It can be found at any local needlework store. For the most part, I don't think you can get it on Amazon. I think Vicki only sells mm -hmm. to local needlework stores. Um, that's where you get this. And yeah. here, I'm going to screenshot it. If mm -hmm. you want to know exactly and here's the back. Is. Needlework yes. Press. Yeah. Um, if you can't find it at your local needlework store, Vicki's local shop is the attic. And I think she keeps them well stocked because she's so close, she can drop off more. Mm -hmm. So call the attic and order it from there. Anyway, so that's the first question. Um, someone left a comment last week, last video, that the sampler book by Brenda Keys has a color key in the back. So for all those beautiful mm -hmm. motifs that are in uh, black and white chart, she provides a color key. Yeah, so that's huge. Yeah. Huge yeah. information. Very yes, good. Definitely. Um, I don't know if any of you watch um, the uh, traditional stitches floss tube. Right now they're concentrating on the Ann Morrison um, sampler by Hands Across the Sea. And Rose, who is the sampler leader, um, SAL leader, SAL leader, and Janice post their progress, answer questions, provide tips, so on and so forth. And one of which they um, talked about yesterday, and it's something that I do all the time. And it's just a little tip. If you didn't watch it or you want to know, and yeah. it has to do with landmark stitching. Um, I know Carol Saltbox Stitcher goes around and does the whole border first because she's cool like that. That is so cool. Yeah. I wish I could do that. Yeah, I can. So damn cool. So when I do, if I'm going to do this little flower right here, I will make sure that I count from here or whatever and that I have the correct amount of stitches on this side. So that I know that my border then is correct and the flower is placed right. Um, when you do the whole border, you would have that border to be your landmark when you got to the end. But again, that's a lot of stitching across in this case to see, find out you had a mistake back here and you didn't realize it. So I count from different places and make sure like when I'm doing that, when I did this floral tree. I counted down, but then I made sure I was so in good shape on the correct uh, line, if you will, mm -hmm. going across this way. It's just a little something to make sure that you've placed it correctly because I don't want to be doing any ripping mm -hmm. on that. So it's like you're an airplane pilot and you're doing cross checks. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that's just a little tip. Go watch their video because it doesn't all apply to the Ann Morrison Stitch Along. They provide wonderful tips. Rose has been a stitcher for 40 something years and Janice, I would bet maybe not quite that long, but they have a lot of tips 
to offer. It's well worth. Plus, it's stitch talk. That's yes. all we want to hear about. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the background for both of them has beautiful samplers, and Rose has beautiful um, doodads and samplers that I can see. <laughs> we like to background. see doodads. Yes. Mm -hmm. We like to see all that stuff in the mm -hmm. background. Then we got a question today about what are our favorite fabrics. Someone wants to start building their stash. Mm. So from 32 on up. Mm -hmm. So, well, I think we could answer this off the top of our heads that our favorite fra fabrics, <laughs> fabrics, our fabrics <laughs> that we like. We love R&R. &R. Mm -hmm. We love Lakeside. Mm -hmm. We love Weeks. Zweigart based. For Zweigart based. Me. Yes, mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. And then there's some new ones that we've been really liking. And and I'll show you in a little bit, but I started something on my, for the first time on Color and Cotton 40 count. And oh, love I love it. it. Yeah. Love. Fox and Rabbit, which is out of Australia. They have some beautiful over dyed fabrics. But if you don't want to splurge and do the over dyed fabrics. You could still get 32 Belfast. There's beautiful colors in that. Mm -hmm. 36 Edinburgh. Mm -hmm. um, again, beautiful natural colors mm -hmm. um, in 40 count um, Newcastle. Mm -hmm. So those are the the, the base ones fabrics. that come right out of Zweiger. And you can just go to your local needle workshop and I'm sure they have mm -hmm. some of that. Mm -hmm. And that is fabulous stuff to have in your stash. Yes. You can, and there's different shades, so it's not all just stark white. No, no, I would never get stark white. I would mm -hmm. get like antique ivory, mm -hmm. um, natural. Mm -hmm. um, there's many choices in mm -hmm. the base fabrics, and that's what's used when um, dyers dye their fabric. They start with this white art base, you know, whether it's mm -hmm. white or natural or cream or ivory or whatever, and then they dye it. Um, Mm -hmm. so, and you've then. you've used seraphim yes. lately, and you love it's that. Wonderful, mm -hmm. yes. Seraphim is another great choice. Mm -hmm. So, um, lots of good choices. My suggestion would be to call your local needlework store if you don't have one. Call um, Dying to Stitch; they can help you out. Um, the attic has a plethora of various mm -hmm. counts, and if you want to get wild and crazy. You could get 52, 60. Don't be like Jean. <laughs> yeah. Because she'll talk you into that. You won't even know what hit you. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be where I would start. Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyhow. Okay. That's it. So go ahead. We're finished with this. All right. You're got the, you've got the floor. All right. Well, here's my January so far. And um, I've been having fun with my stickers, as you can see. That's the best part of oh, it. Oh, I know. At the end of the day. Sticker it up, baby. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when I left here, I was on my way to Michael's to get DMC because it's a Sunday and no shops are open. So, I did. I got the DMCs that are for Prairie Schooler January. And they're the DMCs that Lori Holt is using. Um, go to her latest floss tube video and you will see her conversion it's, it's genius i found i watched it oh did you and it's i mean that woman is a creative genius i know she is like, what about that finish the January yeah, finish on the yeah, book i know ah! crazy and then she showed her stitching spot oh yeah and that chair that's next to there you're planting your i'm coming <laughs> she's coming <laughs> So I started it, and uh, this is how beautiful, far I got. Laura. Isn't it amazing? It's so beautiful. So this is on that 40 count color and cotton. Oh, okay. Um, I forgot which color. I think Swiss something. Swiss, Swiss, Swiss coffee. Oh, okay. Very nice. So I love it. Very, very nice. And I like the changes. The changes are so much fun. Oh, my yeah. goodness. And it's not taking away from Prairie Schooler. It's no, just fine-tuning a couple yeah. things. Yeah, and so. her, these are beautiful. But mm -hmm. this just, I don't know, it kind of amped it up for me mm -hmm. and made me get it out and stitch it. It's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So that is very exciting. Now, 
when I went and got these DMCs, I went in the store with my mask and all blah blah, and um, I didn't bring my glasses in with me or I didn't put them on or something. So I was supposed to get 3816, but instead I got 3815. So when I went at one point to stitch, I didn't have the 3816, oh, no. which is, you know, really annoying. So, oh, yeah. So I was telling, I said to Mike, um, I have to, I don't know, it was a different day. I have to go get 3816 or 15, one of them. I had to go get one. I said, because I didn't have my glasses on when um, I was buying the DMC. And he saw right through that. <laughs> I was like, what? Why? I mean, he, it was just, but anyway, the funny part is, he said to me, okay, you're going to get the 3816. Are you going to return the 3815? What was your answer? <laughs> Were you like, I was like, that is so typical of you. So insane. I'm Yes, I'm going to go up and stand in line with the mask on and return my 89th. Here we go. Oh, that was the most on time one ever. <laughs> I mean, I just, for what, 50 cents? Uh, whatever. I'm like, no, I'm putting it in my stash of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't be insane. I told my mother that story, too, and she was like, she's like, yeah, I don't think we're going to be returning one skein of DMC. No. I oh. wouldn't return a skein of nothing. nothing. I would not return a skein of Even anything. Even so, I would just add it to my stash. Yes. So that was hilarious. Yes. I thought you were going to say that he offered to go get it for you. No, he would if I really needed him to, and I was very, you know, whiny about it. But okay. no, no need. Yeah. So, okay, what did I do with my? I don't know. Okay, who knows what I worked on next? But we'll just keep going here. What happened to your book? I don't know. I think I threw it somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. It's not in that bag over there. Maybe it is. We're not mm -hmm. in a very big spot, Laura. I know. <laughs> There's not many places. Oh, here it is. It's back here. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay. So I worked on that. Let's see how many days. One, two, three, four, five. That's cool. Maybe yeah. even six. Wow. Wow. I was on a roll. Okay. Then something happened and I decided I was going to work on a sampler by the Scarlet House. One that we got at summer school. But guess what? It's coming out soon for wide release. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Um, last time I showed this, what, many months ago? Mm -hmm. Someone told me that this is, I don't know if you can see the name of the lady, but this is pronounced Casey Smith, not Cece. Cece. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, a Dutch person weighed in on oh, that. Okay. Okay, I did change my fabric. Uh, Tanya stitched it on 40 Count Heartland. Um, sometimes I'm in an anti picture this plus mode. So I changed mine to, I think, American Chestnut. I don't know what I changed. American to. Chestnut. Yeah, you can tell by looking. No, but it looks like it, and you're all. You're right. So I did a little bit more work looks on beautiful. that guy. Looks yeah. beautiful. I love the color of the fabric. Love yeah. It. Yeah. Sometimes, um, picture this plus fabric. I love it, and um, but sometimes the dye lots can vary a lot. Like Heartland, sometimes it's like green, yeah. And I don't think of Heartland as a green type fabric because other dye lots have been more brown. So, and again, another award winning floss card from Tanya. Yes. Yep, so I worked on that a little bit. And then what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Then, for some reason, I got out uh, this one, you know, from... And Buy all the blackbirds. That's right. That's calling you, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Susie. Reno. Get on it. Okay, I didn't do too much on that one. I had a... Oh, th this line here, there, yeah. is supposed to be some sort of satin stitch or something, but I couldn't figure out. It was okay. like going from here to here, to there to there. To there, to there. I couldn't figure it out. So I just did cross stitch. Yes. Good for you. Because I was like, you know what? There's too much going on. I can't deal with all of this. So I did that. And then, oh, then I finally, what day was it? 
maybe it was last weekend. I, who knows when it was. I finally organized my whip go stuff. And so I worked on that for the rest of the time. And when we get to that point, I will show you what I did. I'm very excited. Good. Good. Yeah. So it's working. Uh, yeah, for this week. Yeah, but <laughs> for the still, first week. You're enjoying it. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, it's very matters. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So. That's all you worked on? <clears throat> besides the besides whip, go? whip go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. But I got one other funny story I gotta tell you. Okay. 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 So I was watching Carol Saltbox Hitcher, and Mike's usually in the room and will make commentary. Um, Carol was talking about stitching on Miss Manners, and she said, I think Brenda finished this. And I said, I love, no, she hasn't finished it yet. And Mike said, maybe she's talking about Brenda Gervais. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I he impressed. knows a lot of things. Like um, he's a silent listener. Yes, like Pam and Steph will be on, and he'll be somewhere else. He goes, "Oh, is that that mother and daughter?" <laughs> yes. It's Does hilarious. he um, watch Priscilla and Chelsea with you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He knows every. He's seen every episode. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because every Saturday, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, those Saturday. are my funny stories about Mike Duet, that okay. sweet man. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, what have I been working on? Well, I started a little project, and I didn't like the fabric. Mm. I'm disgusted <laughs> with the fabric. Disgusted with the colors. Oh. Of it. I cut it in half. Oh. Because it was, I was doing it at the end of the workday. Oh, wow. And I, work has sucked the life out of me the last two weeks, and I just couldn't deal with it anymore, so cut it in half and moved on. So since then, because I did not always pull this out during the week because it takes some concentration. This linen is a little dark. So this is Jane Southward. And did not make as much progress as I would have liked, of course. But yeah, any progress Ooh. is better than none. I love the colors of this. Um, this is the Addicts Conversion. And this is Fox and the Rabbit up in the attic linen, 40 counts. I love it. This is coming down on the right hand side, right over here. That's heading down. So it's not very big. It's it is not, big. Yeah. But wide. It's, it's not hugely wide. No. It's beautiful. No. And I put all my threads for it. I ended up putting them all in the floss away bags. Now Carol shows hers so beautifully so you can see the Oh, colors. that's a nice look. You can see. See. You see all those reds and the greens and more reds and pinks and it's beautiful. The conversion is really beautiful. So if you want it, call the attic because they will get you hooked up. So that's all I worked on. That and work. This. Work and kill me. Mm. So make sure it doesn't. Do whatever you need to do to maintain your sanity. Yes. So then this morning I decided I need to pull out something small that I can work on at the at the end of the day mm -hmm. after dinner. Mm -hmm. Um and most of the time all this past week I didn't work on anything really except for that piece I cut up. Mm -hmm. And so I pulled out some things. This is the mm. last of the so Stacy done... Nash. I've done the other two. Oh, you've done two. Okay. So this one is perfect. Stitched on 36 count, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect. Yeah. And then and hit it up. Country sampler style. Yeah. That's exactly who did it. And then I had kitted this up last year. This little heart here. <gasps> Wow, that's um, beautiful. And it's done on 32 count weeks. Oh. <laughs> but the color is Ooh, so perfect. Yeah. This is what it calls for, I think. Um, or maybe it was an originally an R&R &R that you can't get anymore. Yeah, it was originally an R&R. &R. 28 count, I'm doing 32. I'll do two over two. And here are the colors. I changed one, I'm using a Victorian motto. And these are the rest of the oh colors. Oh my goodness. I really think it's I'm going to start this tonight so I can, I when I get home tomorrow, 
Is uh, that it at the chart? Mm -hmm. What a great chart. Yeah. Okay, I shouldn't Beautiful. talk it up too much because it's a loose feathers number six. So yeah. <laughs> unless you have it in your stash, forget it. Yeah. But oh my goodness, that's going to be, be breathtaking. Yeah. Look at that. So oh, sweet. That. So that's going to be fun. That'll be fun. I am yeah. hoping that it, even if I stitch for our 45 minutes, yeah. which is. That should bring some. Really calm and sanity. Yeah, because I haven't even been stitching in the morning because I've been going to work. So, again. Ooh, the dooba. Okay. Yeah. You hear that? So, if I die at work. <laughs> we're all going to sue. We're all going to sue, and you can say because of the blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, okay, let's talk about happy things. Okay. That's yeah. not. That's not let's happy. Let's not dwell about that. So, okay. What's next? How about stash? I was just going to say that. Okay, good. Holy you go. moly. You go. Okay, so after I started on Color and Cotton, 40 count Swiss coffee, I was like on a mission that I must get more Color and Cotton, more. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I know that Stephanie of Pam and Stuff has uh, been stitching and loving Color and Cotton, so I... DM'd her on Instagram. I said, okay, where can I get this? And she, that girl is so sweet. She sent me back information about where to get it. And I called a shop in Iowa, Stitchery Nook. I'm pretty sure that's it. If it's not when Brenda's talking, I'll check because okay. it's ridiculous okay. that I don't know. Um, and I got 40 count light brown sugar. That's a, these are beautiful. So much prettier than what's showing on the camera. Yeah, 36 count boardwalk and 40 count aged paper. Woo! I'm so excited. Back quarters all. And now that I've shown them, I can put them in my stash and start plotting their usage. So that was exciting. Yeah, you're right. Stitchery Nook, yay! Yeah. Good. May I just say, Stitchery Nook is... A great place to call and order from because they were so nice and so responsive in fact um, I think it was Sherry who I was talking to she emailed me back and said and gave me a list of all that she had in stock oh that was nice. I mean it that's was above sweet. and beyond yes. and yes. that's what we want to know because I want to know like everything that's available so mm -hmm. that was really especially when you're just ordering for your stash yeah and you don't have any idea exactly so, cool so that was so so nice Okay, then Nicole showed this on her one of her recent videos, mm -hmm. and do you have this? Yeah. Okay. I got it from the Country Sampler when it was a stitch. Okay. Now yeah. well, it's Mary Lindsay 1828 Sampler by Chessie and mm -hmm. me, um, all kitted up, and if you watch Nicole's latest video, she showed it, and it's like shockingly amazing. So, I don't know when I'm going to start that, but I'm very hepped about it. Very good. Mm. And then, what else? Oh, then last Saturday, uh, we met our friend Kelly at Inspired Needle, mm -hmm. and we got some stuff. Yeah. Can you imagine that? We got some stuff. Yeah, we didn't go there for anything in particular, no. did we? No. No. Okay. No. All right. Well, I got a fancy floss sampling of memories. That's cool. Thing with Bobby. What's it say on there? Fancy floss, it says. Oh, okay. Fancy floss, though. Yeah, duh. Okay, and then, oh, I did get some fawn. Just the other day, I was like, I want some 36, or some, yeah, 30, I wanted 36 count fawn by Picture This Plus. You know how I, like, said, I don't want to picture this plus. Well, Kelly was getting some, and then I got some, too, because this piece is beautiful. Yeah. And it's a um, beautiful color. I think Nicole's stitching the bells on Christmas Day on this. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, hmm, that might be a thing. Oh, and then Kelly is stitching the farms of Hawkorn Hollow on under the sea fabric Selkie. And they had a little bit of it there mm -hmm. left. So Brenda and I split a fat quarter because yeah. this is so beautiful. It's beautiful. It's yeah. the same from the same piece I'm just yeah. showing you the color. Yeah. Under the Sea. I had never I've heard never, of it. Oh, yeah. I heard of Under the Sea, but I've never stitched on it. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And, and when Kelly, the time before, showed me her uh, DMC for Farms of Hawkorn Hollow on this, whoa. Yeah. 
Oh, this is amazing. And I got another piece of it. Mm -hmm. um, beach walk. Oh. Which is a little bit more grayer and bluer. Yeah. And I haven't a clue, but I just think it's it yeah, was it's beautiful. beautiful. So I got it. Yeah. And then I've been meaning to do this to get the threads for a sampler in this book for 20 years. And uh, every time I go, I go, no, I'm not going to get the threads. And then I finally got the threads. Oh, good. For A Shields. Yeah, Kathy had a great selection of classic color works, um, gentle arts, and weeks. Mm -hmm. And it was great. There was no color that I needed that wasn't, that she didn't have. Yeah. So I had this book, of course, but then I finally got the threads. And let's see. Oh, I got Flea Market Souvenir. This is a re-release Blackbird Designs, which I did not have. And I was really called to do it because Nicole pointed out that on Faye, Carolina Stitcher, if you look at her Instagram, she's, she does finishing. Mm -hmm. She finished this into a drum for someone. And the way she did it was like, oh boy, genius. Yes. yes. It was so, exquisite. Yeah. So I had to get that. And then, let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, I got another Under the Sea Fabrics tiramisu. I put this all in a bag last Saturday and haven't looked at it. This is cool. Wow. What count is it? <laughs> 36. Okay. Oh, very nice. Well, isn't very that pretty. sweet? Yeah. Okay. Got a little stash there. Some needles. And then at the very end, Kelly and I went a little cuckoo, but I'm glad we did because we got two Teresa Kogut charts. This one, which is called Above All. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And Oh My Bird. I mean, this just looks like so much fun to stitch. Carol Mundell on Instagram is stitching that now. I probably saw hers and, mm -hmm. and said, oh boy. I mean, it's just, it's so yeah. folk arty. I love it. Yeah. And then I got um, this chart at Inspired Needle. By our friend Tracy. Yep. Hands I to just work. love that. I like the, it's beautiful. the words, the, alf the alphabet, and all this stuff down here. Mm -hmm. So pretty. It's so gorgeous. I didn't kid it or anything. I just, just got the chart. So. Beautiful, Tracy. Hmm. Oh, I was going to show some PDFs that I got. Now I don't know where they are, which is maybe... I have one of them. Okay. I got Jesse Watson, yeah. Hands Across the Sea. This Nicholas showed a sneak peek of this and then later released it. The sneak peek was like, oh boy. And you need to go to her, either download the PDF mm -hmm. or go to her... Instagram post and there is a very touching hopeful oh, story yes. in there about the model stitcher that did this yeah. and if that doesn't make you want to stitch this just for this the, the beautiful design read the story yeah it's incredible incredible yeah that was really wonderful okay oh what did you get then I got my lovely silk club Ooh, from the attic. That's beautiful. This is um, December's. Oh, beautiful. that's perfect for December, yeah. isn't it? Yep. Oh, my. I love that. That's beautiful. And then I got um, my color and cotton. Ooh. They were running a little bit behind, but because of order supply issues. I didn't know but... you were in a color and cotton thread club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who's that through? Um, color and cotton. Oh, right yeah. to the source. Yep. It's I mean, beautiful. Those colors. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Beautiful. Gorgeous. And if you want to join, I didn't get in right away. Um, she only takes so many. So when somebody drops out, then she will send you an email and say, we have an availability. Oh, that's good. You have X amount of days to respond. Okay. Then I got this loverly bag from Deborah Harry. I actually scored one. Yeah, you did. You scored a really good one. Yeah. And this is the inside with the little Isn't pockets. Fun. And 
And she sent a cute little note. Yeah, I love Isn't her notes. That note nice. That's a I great that. one. Yeah, I love it. And yeah. then last time, I didn't show these bags because I forgot. But these are from our friend, friend Christy that we scored when she had her latest sale. Wow. Aren't those? Wow and wow, wow, wow. I don't know why I... Oh, that's sideways for yeah. crying out loud. Well, I don't know why I didn't try and get one of these. I love it. Yeah. I love the vintage. I mean, oh. look at those deer, the yeah. Bambi deers. Are... So, yeah, so sweet. And then we got... We joined the Orange County <laughs> Sampler Guild so we could get this project. <laughs> and it, after long delays, again, supply issues and everything. This is from Needlework Press. And it's a little bag. And then there's this little thing that you stitch on perforated paper. That is super cool. And then they sent all the supplies Ooh, to make it. Fabric, lining yeah. fabric, background fabric, everything. It's Love beautiful. It. I can't beautiful. wait to stitch it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That Orange County Sampler Guild has a lot of great teachers and you can join. Obviously, we can't go to the guild meetings. Um, you can join at large. Yeah. Which is what we did. We're very at large. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and cool. then I got a couple things back finishing wise. If you want us? Oh, I just wanted. To, I just remembered. I wanted to show oh, yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't stitch on anniversaries of the heart, mm -hmm. but I took it with me when we went to Inspired Needle, and um, requested that Nancy serge it, and she did. So oh. now my piece is surged. So now I'm really in business. Oh, wow. That Isn't was it? great to think of that. Wasn't and that? for them to do a great customer service. I know. They are the best. Yes. Yeah. Very, very. Yeah. So I just wanted to Happy shout to out see you and a serger. All that stuff. Great shop. Inspired Needle. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> yesterday. Um, no, I'll show the finishes first. Last week, remember when I showed this and I said I was going to have it repurposed into a drum? And this is Joy's magnificent finish. It's, I mean, the new life that it, it's breathed yeah. into it is amazing. Um, this is, I'm pretty sure it's 25 count Lugana, 2 over 2. I don't know what the color of the linen is. But Joy put a little quilt scrap on there. And then the um, perfect pins. It's just beautiful. So I thought I'd show you the other ones that were in the series. I showed them before, but um, it's good to see them all together. Yeah, you can see them all together. So here's the other one. This is the first one that we did. So it's called Blueberry Homecoming. I love that. Looks like the house I grew up in. Oh my goodness! Look at that quilt. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And I know this is 25 count mushroom Lugana, two over two. And then she made a little heart here where she joined them where you can put a little note in. And she did. Mm -hmm. um, and then she took part of it, the design and took it. No, she didn't. She stitched this from part of the design. Um, I can't see it right now, but wow. anyway, she... Her work is oh my goodness again, over the top. Then she, I had sent her this one, and she made it into like a project roll, uh, which is what I wanted. Um, so it's oh this one. Jimmy Christmas. You can put your projects in there. That's so I keep perfection. it rolled up, and you see the strawberries at the top, but. Um, I love it. I, and, um, I was just going to say, Joy is a finisher, but she's like full up, I think, with yeah. clients. Yes, she's not taking anybody. Yeah. yeah. So we can all be sad. We'll be yes. happy for Brenda. She <laughs> is Joy. There's a lot of other beautiful finishers. Oh, yes. Out I was going to mention so. that. Um, if anybody is a finisher, uh, leave us a comment 
um, because people are always looking for finishers because mm -hmm. I think the ones that we know really well, like mm -hmm. Vana and Joy, are full. I don't know if Vana is, but I think she is. But Yeah, I think so too. And, and I'm not sure about Faye. Faye Carolina yeah. Stitcher I don't know does she... magnificent fishing. Fishing. She's a good fisher. Finishing. Yeah. Bass. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So you can nicely ask people, mm -hmm. but just be prepared that they might be full. And maybe mm -hmm. you can get on a waiting list or what. Um, a finisher that I've used in the past, my problem is I have this stuff done and then I just don't send it because I have a problem. But Belinda from Blue Ribbon Designs mm -hmm. is an excellent, beautiful finisher. Mm -hmm. I don't know what her situation is, but... You can just, if anybody has, you know, people that are still finishing and taking new clients, let mm -hmm. us know. Mm -hmm. um, and you can ask these other people, but it's likely that they're full up. Mm -hmm. Because and I just, can't imagine the amount of work. Right. And the amount that. of stress level, you know, mm -hmm. you have a hundred orders come in or something. Mm -hmm. It's just. Also, it there are some, much. you can check with shops mm -hmm. I know like keepsakes has a finisher there I mm -hmm. don't know if she's taking new people but she finishes very well mm -hmm. um, a lot of shops have a finisher so mm -hmm. just check around right right the last one in that series Ooh. is this one this was framed even fame framed professionally because it's pin um, but I'm thinking about having this bottom cut off and then taking this from the Song of the People down to the quilts and having a drum made. I don't know. I'm, I love that house and the I quilts. I think you should make a drum out make of it. Make a drum. So because it'll be a series three. of three. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be perfect. So I'll think about that and then get it off. Then I got back, oh. um, what was it? Thursday. Ubaduba. I can't remember. The days all go together. This magnificent beauty is from Total Framing. Perfect frame. It's very small, um, which is perfect. They needed a small space to fill, and this was it. I loved stitching this feast of friendship in 2020. That meant so much. So they did a great job. And again, with Total Framing, they are overwhelmed with orders. I know they're working through them as quickly as they can. Um, just be patient. It will be worth the wait yes. when you get and it. And they're, they're, I don't ever worry if something's there for a while because they take care of stuff. They know yes, what they're doing. Exactly. They've got a system. Yes, they have a great system and you will get your piece. Mm -hmm. And yes, we all want it the next day. You know, why can't you have that done the next day or whatever? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work that way there mm -hmm. because they have so many orders right now. Yeah. So, anyhow, what okay. else you got? Okay, well, I have a couple of things. Well, I have a lot of things left still. I might, this might turn into I the Laura show. show so. Okay, good. All right, whip go. Here's my basket. What I did... Remember last time I was thinking about it, and WIPGO is this thing where there's 25 numbers, and you pick projects for each of them, and then Jesse Marie um, picks numbers each month, and then you do whatever you're going to do. So I decided I'm going to do holiday WIPGO, and when she calls a number, I will work on that piece for a minimum of three days. I mixed in things that are that were started and things that I haven't even started yet. Oh, but, that's a good idea. <clears throat> but the first thing that I picked for this month's whip go was Santa in the hot air balloon, which I had done the balloon and the Santa, but I didn't do the stars yet or the basket or finish this bottom part. Well, guess what? It's finished. Okay. Oh, good. Yes. It's on 40 count vintage pearl barley. And look at this guy. I, very nice. Isn't he cute? Mm hmm. Yeah, I don't That'll think you can see the stars, ornament. but yeah, no. I know. Isn't it cute? Yeah, very cute. So, just for that alone, Whipco was worth it for me because I had no inkling of finishing this. I mean, I would have never pulled it out now. I don't know when I would have pulled it out. So, so that was fun. Okay, so then 
the other day I started Whipco number two for me, which was Kringle and Wooler. And on him, all I had done was the hat and some of the, uh, what do you call that? Shepherd's thing oh, Shepherd's um, crook. Yeah. Staff. I don't know. I'm doing it on 40 Count Stars How Hello Blend by R&R, &R, which I fell in love with again. And I worked on this I don't know when, Friday, yesterday, who knows, but got a little further on that. Very nice. Every Very time nice. I see this finished, I love it. Mm -hmm. Have you stitched this one? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Okay, well that's by Plum Street. So the other one that I have, this month there were three numbers picked, usually there's two. Um, the other one that I'm gonna work on is in here somewhere. Now, I can either show you all these or show them like it's up to you okay are you bored no i okay. you've got plenty of time all right what what else do we have to do okay so here's some of the other things that i'll be working on when their number is called i will do an ornament from this oh that's cute mm -hmm. that's from the heart needle mm -hmm. arts by wendy i don't know which one yet but mm -hmm. okay what else do we have here this is in a Stitching the High Notes bag by Joe. It's Stitching the High Notes. Oh, this one is from a magazine, one of the Just Cross Stitch ornament magazines, and I finished this one and uh, gave it in an exchange, but I've always loved it. I'm gonna flash the chart because I don't have the, it's the Skater Girl. Oh, okay. So um, that one I have to start from, you know, the beginning and stitch her. Okay. Then I have this bag that and Pat gave me one year for Christmas. And what's in here? Oh, I want to do that. I haven't started it. Homespun Elegance. Oh, they're not in an order yet. But yeah, you can help me. That'd be great. This guy. Oh, the Santa by JDW. Okay, this one, I don't know, did you finish la di -da, this one? This one, no, I've got it almost finished. And okay. Didn't. That'll be a new start. Oh, and you're using Overdyes. Yes, when we were at the attic when I got it, uh, Pat and I, I don't know why, but... <laughs> Changed it. To yeah, Overdyes. we were feeling fancy. Oh, S. Claus, maker of good things. I had started this and then I put it down because there was some mistake in here somewhere and I don't know where, but I'm just going to go with it. Go with it, yeah. Yeah. So there's that. This one, I don't know why it's in here exactly because I love this. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I'm not gonna stitch the whole thing. This one, I think I'm gonna turn into an ornament Okay. or something there and I don't know what I was thinking maybe I'll do some more words I'm not sure exactly why that one's in here but it is okay that can go in there okay here's a prairie schooler I started on 32 count took with me when I went to my dad's one Thanksgiving actually I think it was 2019 this one and then like soon thereafter got really into 40 count and, but I need to finish this because there's a you lot you have a lot stitched yeah already. it's beautiful isn't that so sweet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so when that number gets called I'll spend three days working on that that'll be fun yeah oops This is in one of Sirena Stitches bags, stitching. This is released now, but I have it as a club piece. And that'll be a start. That's the only one in there, yep. Oh, and a Mama Joan bag. This is another Prairie Schooler. And I was just doing this Santa here. And I started it on 32, and I just need to 
I mean, when you're almost done. Yeah, almost done with that guy. And what a cute ornament yeah. it'll be. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, let's see what else is here. Oh, this will be a total new start. I love this. Love, love, love. Is that the one with the bed in it? Yeah, the yeah. was the night before yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I put that in there. Oh, yeah. Let's put this in here. So in Chelsea, this is Claus. Okay, and I have that all kitted up. I'm going to use, because it's dark fabric, I'm using 32 count chalkboard. Oh, okay. Hopefully that'll make it more doable. So two over two. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. In this book, I have another one that's pretty close to being done. The Santa. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. And then Which someday... This, a Christmas visit. Okay. This one up here, oh, I just love that. I really want to do that one, too. And I don't even know what this is on, Brenda. This material is something else. Let's see what you think of that. What do you think it is? It looks like an oatmeal or something. Mm -hmm. Clova? I don't know. Are you doing two or two? Yeah. It's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I showed this recently because I had stitched on it a little bit, but there's this ornament here that I'm doing on that fabric. gingerbread. Yeah. yeah. So I put that in there so that then I can cut these apart and get them both done. Mm -hmm. So that's in there. This is in one of my favorite so much to love bags. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. What's in here? Oh, you know what's in here? Is by Blackbird Designs, if I can find this one, the Merry Christmas that we've had for um, 80 years. Did yeah. you almost I, finish? Mm, not really. No, that's all I have so far. Mm. So, need three days Yeah, there's that. so many people that stitched that, um, like whirlwind stitched. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was fun to see. Okay, this is one of my Christy bags. That's the same one I got? Yes, you have this one. Okay. Okay, so, oh, this is the other one that I need to spend three days on in January. Yeah, that picture's terrible compared to yours in real life. So much better. Look how cute. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And what else? Oh, yeah, I've sh I showed this semi-recently. Uh, this Erica Michaels. I think it's supposed to be a straw. We can do it as a strawberry, but I'm going to do it as an ornament. I think that the they had strawberries and then these little pillows. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that one. Oh, and then the one that Heidi made for Brenda. Yeah. I That's have mine up downstairs where it will remain. Yeah. Oh, this is just so adorable. Thanks for having a... <laughs> We're having I'll a meltdown. Yeah, landslide. So when this gets called, I will start that. Okay. Oh, this one I got uh, recently from Christy. It's Lori Holt fabric. So darling. Yeah. Okay, what's in here? Oh, yeah. I want to do this. We went one time. I went to Inspired Needle, and they had a trunk show, and I saw this, and it made me buy the chart Nutcracker. So, and I opened it up, and there's like I don't know, fifteen, twenty overdyed cottons, and I was like overwhelmed with going to pick all those out. So Kelly smartly said, "Just use the DMC," and yeah. she's right. I mean, they're so little. What yeah. am I? What Why am I, are you spending all that yeah, money for on pity's sake? Yeah. That's craziness. Crazy! And I showed this recently, too, but I put it in my whip go. I started it, but I don't like my start, so I'm going to restart it. Very nice. Okay. Now, let's see. Okay, that's that. 
And then, for heaven's sakes, why we haven't started one of these already, I don't know. I don't know. We need our heads examined, yes. so that's yes. in there. I agree. Examine those heads. Um, three more. This one, I have a very small start on, and I love it. And mm -hmm. So there's that. This will keep you in the mood for Christmas stitching all year. I think it might. Mm -hmm. Um, one time, I don't know when this was, oh, it was in 2019, June-ish, a very, very nice lady in England, I don't know how she knew I wanted this, but I put it out there, there was this chart by Lizzie Kate that was in a magazine in Britain, and I tried to get the magazine digitally, but it just wasn't working. Um, and there's no real picture of this in here, I don't think. Oh, there is. Okay, you can kind of see half of it, the way the magazine is. The colors and everything, it says, May your days be merry and bright, which I love that. Mm -hmm. um, so she sent it to me from that England. Was sweet. Yes, yeah. that was very, very nice with this darling card. And her name is Sally, and thank you, Sally. So that's in my whip go. For a start and then lastly a long long time ago <laughs> in a galaxy not so far away <laughs> my mom got me this shepherd's bush I've done that oh have you mm hmm well look how almost done I am with it I even did the finishing on it oh my goodness I'm almost done really Oh my God, yes. And she got me the box that it goes in. So yeah. I said, this definitely has definitely. to go into the whip go. Definitely. And the words on it, take joy. When I was a little kid, my um, mom and dad got me this book called Take Joy by Tasha Tudor. And so that's got a lot of meaning. So, yeah. So those are my whip goes. Oh, and I put my Tim Holtz Christmas stickers in here oh, okay. because maybe I'll just intersperse some throughout, or at least they'll be there ready for me in December. Or as you're stitching yeah. when you're doing your whip co, use a Christmas sticker. Well, that's fun. I like it. I will do that. So um, I'll keep you guys posted whether or not this works. I think it might. Who knows, you know. And it's not like you're sucked in until you finish something. You right. Know what I, mean? I said it's three days. Yes. Yes. And three days to me, as I said before, is like one night after work is counts as one. Yeah. So. I would yeah, I would make sure those three days fall into the work week. Yeah. I would unless yeah. I'm in the mood. Yeah. So thanks, Brenda. Mm -hmm. So that's my holiday whip go. I like it. Yeah. I hope it works for you. Me too, because otherwise I don't really crave to stitch Christmas stuff. Until the summer. Right. So, but I, look, I even put Christmas colors red and green and I made an Excel spreadsheet and I think I'm pretty cool. Very so, nice. there. Very nice. Okay. What have you got over there, ma'am? Well, let's talk about these two things. Okay. We got um, a gift in the mail from Stitching Cat. Um, her name's Debbie. Debbie or Deborah? I'm sorry, I can't remember. Anyway, Deborah. Deborah. She is um, super, super generous. Her husband made these wooden tools. Yes. For you. Cherry wood. Yeah. Oh, it's you. beautiful wood. Um, take your DMC thread and instead wind of it like having here, it yes. all, you can wind it around this. She, put, so she started this so that yeah, isn't we it would, cute? yeah, and you would thread it all around, wrap it all around, not thread it, wrap it all around, and then when you get to the end, you just snip the ends, this end, and then this end, and there you go, you have. Or what you could do, if you don't want them 12 inches, you want them longer, just snip one end and then put these on your um, thread keys. 
Is that not cool? And so very nice. This is great workmanship. I mean, I wish you I know it's beautiful. I'm going to move the thread back a little bit. But yeah, it's beautiful. And it's uber thin, so you can stick it in your, um, you know, bag if you're going somewhere. Or... It's very nice. Thank you so much, Deborah. Yeah, thanks. I love it. This wood is beautiful. Yes. yes. We got a lot of stuff here today. Well, from our friend Kelly, yes. she gave us the cutest books. These were Christmas notebooks. Gifts. We did finally met up for Christmas, and isn't that cool? It's a um, paper book jacket that has samplers on it. She got these thread. Yeah, piece. these are from Kelmscott. And then there's a journal. You can put whatever you want to in here. You be the judge of what you want to put in there. Right. Right. I just love, love that. Love, love, love. love. And she got us these cute little bags. Yep. My soul was fed with needle and thread. These are by Moda. I don't know where she got them, but Google it. I'm sure anyone who sells Moda fabric could get you these. I think those are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Thanks, Kelly. Kelly. Thank Speaking of Kelly, she also did a hand-me-down for me. Now, you know I don't have enough big projects of series. <laughs> um, I have some of these individually, but I didn't have them all. And I've been seeing, let's see, Jen Stitching Niche finished this all-in-one. Lisa Kindred uh, Stitcher mm -hmm. is stitching it now all-in-one. And I just wanted to be able to, in case the craziness strikes... Because Kelly finished all of them individually and made an arrangement. She so. put it in a, um open window frame that she got from Michael's. She finished them individually and then put a clip on them and then put a ribbon in each window. So I think there was nine that she yeah. did. It was, it's a, looks fabulous in her stitching room. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay, okay now. Another thing I wanted to show you that my friend Betsy from Colorado sent to me. She, a while ago, said, do you have a picture of Ferguson and Edith? And I said, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know you're a cat lover and all, Betsy, but um, but what she did was she took said picture. Oh, cute. Isn't that? Aren't they adorable? Aren't they? And then made floss tags and did another one with floss tags. Oh, very nice. I mean, seriously. I may That's never use nice... anything else. And she made these. Yeah. I don't know how. I like this great big Yeah, you could put thing. that on a project bag. Yeah. I mean, For my seriously. bum hands, that's a great idea. Yeah. So look at those two. They're sleeping. Yeah. Uh, which is nice when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Betsy. That was very, very thoughtful and wonderful. Okay. Oh, and then for my birthday, Michelle Hudson from Sacramento, California went insane. She had this project bag that she sent me. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. But beautiful. Then, but then that wasn't all. There was like, you opened it up and it was like, Woo! Christmas? Yes. There's a lot of stuff in here. So there's a smaller bag. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it adorable? And inside that was... This tin with an anchor, and I love anchors. And inside that was wrapped in pattern paper, travel scissors. Very nice. Yeah. And let's see what else. Oh, this was on the packaging, this Santa, which can oh, be an ornament. Cute. Yeah. And then there was, oh, I don't know how she got this, but one of these from Suzette. Oh, cool. You know, that you put yeah. your... I, yes. I never had one, so that was really... I can't wait to use that. Yeah. Carol Saltbox Stitcher just showed um, that yeah, for she one did. of her projects. She uh -huh. did. It's so beautiful and so well made. Um, she knows that I have a collection of antique needle books, so she sent that along. Oh, wow. How thoughtful. I know. And a car... Oh, it's some... Kitten bath soap, which is not for cats, but it's just cuteness. Yeah. And then one of the most special things that I ever got in my life was this uh, needle minder she had made. 
that says Davis, California on it, which is where I went to college. Very cool. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And that was made by Delicious Threads. Oh. So go check her oh. out. Because, like, a couple years ago, I saw that Michelle had one that said NorCal Stitchers on it. Her and her friends had that. Okay. And I was like, oh, I want one. Even though I'm not a Northern California Stitcher, but I'm a wannabe. And so she one-upped it and sent me a Davis, California one. Very nice. So I'm hepped up to go home and put projects in these yes. bags. Yes, very Thanks, nice, Michelle. Michelle. Very, very nice. nice. Yes. And she is a grandmother for the first time this week. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Baby oh. boy. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Now, I just, I'm just trying to keep track of myself. All I have left, because I forgot to do something last time, I have a consult for you and a floss tube shout out. Okay, let's do the floss tube shout out. Okay. I have to turn my page so I get everything right. I discovered a floss tube that has sent me over the edge into excitement. I love it very much. It's called Floss Toss, and it's Rachel and Sue. Now, Rachel lives in Michigan, Sue lives in Connecticut, so obviously they can't get together. So it's two screens, right? But they're talking to each other about stitching, and it's so much fun. I'm going back from to episode one and starting okay. all over. I think they only have about 12 or so. Okay. But they are so cool okay. and so fun to listen to. And Rachel has a little shop called Treehouse Fiber Arts. So when she was talking about the floss tag she makes, I placed an order and got these. Yeah. They're how she has a sampler series. So this is from the sampler series. She, she was kind enough to send me the same ones. Yes. And she sent us these heart ones. Yeah. Very, very nice. And very this, generous. And I got this tulip one. Very cool. Now she didn't just send us these. I mean, I placed an order and then she sent the heart ones and stuff. But what I'm trying to say is, um, go watch she them. didn't know that I even watched them or anything like that. And I just found them like in the last week and I don't even know how I did. I just feel grateful that I did. Good. Um, so yeah, we'll go watch floss toss. And at the end, sometimes they'll dangle some floss and toss it. <laughs> Where they get their name. Yeah, that's okay. how they, yes, they're living up to their name. Yes. Oh, good. So, I'll be anxious to watch. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm really over the moon about it, so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to do my consult? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll be done yakking. <laughs> uh, in one of my Deborah Harry bags, which this one is just too, too yes. much. Very I nice. mean, too much. Okay. Oh, this is an important thing. Yes. I'm going to be talking to you now about the Seven Sheep Sampler by the Scarlet House. Which I had a start on. I have a start on. Bear with me, people. This is all going to be very interesting by the time we get to the end of it. Okay, I started it on Vintage Sand Dune. I started in the middle. I don't know why. That's upside down. Um, but I was never feeling it, you know, I never got into a rhythm with it. Mm -hmm. Then, lo and behold. And I'm using silks or cottons? Cottons. Or okay. I'm using the call for cotton. Okay. Well, it's not the call for cotton. It calls for silks, but there's a right. cotton conversion. Okay. Okay. All right. Then, on Instagram, Karen A. Lynch is doing seven sheep. She's pretty far. She's doing hers on 40 count X Jew designs morning coffee. Also, there is New England Libby. She's doing hers on Zweigart soft ivory. I wrote down. I don't mm. know if that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That would be a non over dyed. That's just a base fabric. Oh, well, I need some. <laughs> anyway, it's a much lighter fabric. Mm -hmm. You've got to go look at these. I mean, mm -hmm. holy moly. So now I want to, I've always wanted to stitch this, but I never got into a rhythm with this. And now that I've seen it on the lighter fabric, I'm over the moon about that. 
So I brought three for Brenda. She doesn't have to decide right now. She's going to have to check this out. But we've got American Chestnut. Mm -hmm. We have Vintage Exemplar. And we have, oh, I didn't tell you I got this. This should have been stashed, but I got some Mayflower Mocha from R&R. &R. Oh. So I'm going to have Brenda look at these more closely. Yeah, leave them out. Yeah. It and calls for double-dyed autumn gold, yeah. which is, is which, very dark. Too. Yeah, like darker than this, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And that was... You know, I love Tanya, and I love this pattern, but my, the gold down here mm -hmm. and just wasn't showing up. I was mm -hmm. never happy with the fabric, so I never really started it um, just because of the colors on it. So I think a lighter, for if you want to stitch mm -hmm. it and ha feel good about it, a lighter fabric is mm -hmm. best. So Yeah. So um, when we're done here, Brenda's going to make a decision, and then I'll post on Instagram what she decided because okay. I may start it today. Okay, you know, because why not? Good. Why not? Good. All right, but yeah, Karen L Karen A. Lynch, she just posted again last night, and I was like, Oh, oh you are killing me! And, and New England Libby, and Karen Lynch is using the. At X juice. Yeah, okay. I wish I had that. But I think mine are probably similar to mm -hmm. that. I don't have mm -hmm. to get so hyper, but right. you know. Right. I want to try your happy. Yeah. With it. I want to try X Ju designs sometime mm -hmm. soon. I only have one piece of that. Mm -hmm. Um it was for the Is it morning one. coffee? No. Oh. I don't think. It was Because if it is it wouldn't be fit that. Okay. It was for the coming to America piece oh, that okay. um kitten stitchers um kitted it up. For okay. Because so. right. I don't pull rank very often, but at some point, there may be a time when I will have to pull rank. And, and I'll say, just have to lock my room downstairs. <laughs> no, you would give it. You would I let would. me. Yeah. I would. Okay. I would. All right. Now, what else do we have over here? Um, yesterday was my birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. I had a great day, um, except for Michigan basketball, mm -hmm. not giving me the win. But... We move on. There was stitching, Mexican food, and my husband made a homemade carrot cake for me, which is my absolute favorite, and it was wonderful. Yay. Wonderful. But I got a few couple gifts in the mail, and um, a gift from Laura, and I just want to share. Okay. My friend Pam sent me these lamb's wool socks. Mm. See, Pam, I didn't wear them yesterday. I lied. <laughs> and then she sent this cute little... Um, Notebook. Notebook with these little tabs in here. It's just really cute. Really, really cute. This is a little Emery. Isn't that cute? I love that. That's so sweet. Yeah. And then, if that wasn't enough, she stitched this Brenda Gervais design and made those pins. Isn't that not beautiful? It's gorgeous. It's lovely. Thank you so much, Pam. And then on Thursday, I got this box from Lisa Abbey. First of all, it's a, I'll show the whole thing and then I'll take it apart. It's this. And with all these little goodies in here, it's just beautiful. Cloche. This is a cloche with a little I didn't birdie. notice the little birdie on top. Oh, sweet. Isn't that sweet? That's sweet. That's heavy. Um, and then this little tray here with That's these so short little beautiful. feet, and then this little doily to put it all in, and then these, all these little doodads, vintage I don't threads, know that you can see them, but there's a little birdie, again, Oops. thimble, buttons, yeah. She had, she's on Instagram, Lisa Abbey, she's on Floss Tube, Lisa Abbey Needleworks, um, very, very thoughtful, very generous. Um, I was floored. Yeah. And she stitched this little strawberry with a bee on it. Is that not cute? With a vintage crochet thing on the top. Just love it. So generous. I was yeah. blown away. Just blown it's away. It's beautiful. And 
Um, I'm going to bring, she sent me similar and I'm going to bring it next time. Good. Today it was snowy and icy and I was just like, I can't transport it, but. Right. Oh, it's just so thoughtful and generous. Just gorgeous. Very beautiful. And the one she did for me is perfect for me. And the one she did for Brenda is perfect for Brenda. Perfect. perfect. Mm -hmm. Then from Laura. That sweet little car. <laughs> That's us when we see yes. some new linen. Yes. <laughs> new charts. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and then she got me this beautiful bowl. It's like vintage mercury glass. And I, I was telling Brenda, I was looking at the Country Sampler website for something stitching related, and they had a picture of this on there. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I love So that. I, that's where I got it, Country Sampler. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to put in there. You know what would be cool at Christmas is if, and I think you have some, like, little vintage Christmas balls. Yeah, yeah I do have them. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I want it out all year. Yeah. Then she gave me this cool thread keep. That not cool. Yeah. This is from Lucy Bean. Bean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little sampler, and it's part of the sampler that she recently reproduced, which okay. is absolutely stunning. And it's got a little needle on yeah, the back. Yeah, that's real cool. You always need a little bling. Always. And then this really cute bag to hold all your whatnots, <laughs> and inside is a mirror. So you can look at your <laughs> whatnots. <Yes. laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. So thank you very much. You are very welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the last thing I got on Thursday as well, and it was a card that still brings. I um this is from my friend Bonnie. Hmm. Bonnie is the one who hired me. When, in 1988, and I still work for the same company. Bonnie, long since retired, um, but we've remained friends, obviously. I see her not as often as I would like, and especially with COVID yeah. right now. She sent me a birthday card, and in it is a really sweet note over here. And all these pictures are things I stitched for her. Oh. She used one of those zip... Um, Polaroid cameras yeah. and all that. These are, um, see if I can remember. These two are framed, just Nan pieces. This is on a paper mache box that I filled with memories of various things that we worked on. Work, work. Mm -hmm. And this is a Jeanette Douglas piece, um, Time to Quilt. Um, that's a Lizzie Kate one. This is a punch needle that's on a, like a paper um, pencil box made out of wood. And then mm -hmm. the Prairie Schooler. And I treasure this. I treasure our friendship and I missed her every single day at work. She worked there for a long, probably maybe 40 years. Oh my. And um, I'm pushing 34 right now so it's been a long time but it just really that she took the time yeah that to is pull all so those out. special thank you bonnie does bonnie watch yeah oh she does mm -hmm. oh hi bonnie mm -hmm. thanks mm -hmm. does she uh do any craft yes, handwork she what does, does a lot of quilting oh really um, i have several quilts that she's made for when my Oldest daughter graduated high school. She made me a Scotty dog quilt. Oh, wow. Um, just different things, yes. So I've been the, recipro um, the recipient of mm -hmm. some of her work, yes. Yeah. And she stitches and does great work. And I, I love whenever we get together, um, it's just laughter and giggling and <laughs> stories and I miss that every day at work. Yeah. So yeah. Anyhow. It's hard when you have a work buddy that's mm -hmm. not there anymore. I mean it's really hard. And we're a very small office. So right now it's me and admin and two partners. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Um there's not a lot of levity right now. <laughs> there is no levity. <laughs> and Zippo levity. Yeah. 
And Bonnie is always my touchstone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I value her opinion over pretty much anyone else. So, You know, when you have special friends like that, it's just such a blessing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really is. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank yeah. God I have you. Thank God I have you. Mm. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of this oh, episode. Oh, not yeah, yet. I did show that. You Never did? mind. Everything's yes. good? Yes. Everything's, everything's fine? Good. Okay, don't panic. I, I can't. can't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. I know. You know? I know. Oh, well. Well, we hope you have a lovely two weeks. Yes. I will uh, post on Instagram Brenda's Choice for my seven sheep. And uh, we will see you in two yeah, weeks. you need to post on Instagram. I know. I have been, some of this stuff. Been and very lax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it's fun to, to see what you're working on. Yeah. I'll try and unlax myself. Yes. And we've got some stuff to watch this afternoon. Oh, we do have lots of lawsuits. Olivia yeah. B. has a new lawsuit. Yeah, I saw I'm that. very happy about that. that. Yeah. Colorado Cross Stitcher, Stitcher has, has a, a new, new one. one. Yes. yes. Uh, I haven't watched Priscilla and Chelsea. Oh, yeah. And there's a lady in England. I can't think of her name right Hedgerow now. Hedgerow Yes. <laughs> and I wonder if Nicola's going to get on the stick today. I don't know. She didn't have one. Yesterday. Um, mm -mm. So maybe mm. today. Fingers yeah. crossed. Fingers crossed. Anyways, everyone, have a great two weeks and get lots of stitching in. Mm -hmm. and, and stashing. Yes. Never have too much stash. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye.